Uh, Spiritual Life Code 43, and I'm here to give you the mid-month of November, your 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Cancer. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, I'm sending you guys so much harmony, happiness, peace, luck, love, and joy. Thank you guys for watching my channel and coming back time and time again. You guys are awesome. If you are a cross-watcher, I'm sending you prayers, healing, and blessings to you and to all of us. Please remember that when it comes to tarot card readings, oracle card readings, any type of readings, that you guys take what resonates, leave anything that does not connect with the message and the energy, okay? Focus on the messages and leave whatever is not for you. Never, ever force a reading, okay? What's for you is for you. What's not is not, okay? Always first and foremost, go to our Heavenly Father God, your incredible spiritual team, your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones, your spirit guides and leaders. These are your healers, helpers, and your greatest and best allies. They are here to support you, so please Listen to your intuition at all times. It will guide you, and that is your connection to Source as well. Please continue to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys are so awesome about keeping my channel going and growing, and I do see the growth. You guys are wonderful for this, and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. If anybody wants to go the extra mile, I do have PayPal and PO Box information listed in the description box below. Yes, I do take cash donations, so thank you so much in advance for anybody who well donate thank you so much if you have you guys know i'm so grateful for all of you guys you guys are wonderful just being here lights up my world and you guys keep me smiling so thank you for keeping me going and um helping my channel being a part of my spiritual journey is this this is wonderful i love that you guys are here okay cancer everything has been prayed and meditated on and before i jump into your reading i do have an exciting announcement i am starting what i call my advice line this is where you guys can ask me a direct question or you guys can give me the story, you know, the background story behind it with your question. So if it's a direct question, that's $7. If it is a story with the question, so your scenario, whatever you're going through, that's $11. Okay. And you guys can pay that through PayPal or the super thanks. The super thanks is the heart shape. That's the super thanks. And of course, if you send the payment through super thanks, of course, you guys can send it through any one of my videos. Please make sure that when you guys send your questions, whether it's a direct question or the question with the story and scenario, make sure that you guys send me a screenshot of the payment and send me a screenshot, yeah, of the payment, whether it's um, through PayPal or Super Thanks. I do plan on expanding on this. This is where I'm starting with this. It's not tarot, but I will be using... You know, of course, my thoughts, my wisdom, my experience, you know, my connection to God and source, I'll be using my life coaching gifts more. But I also will pull from resources and direct you guys to resources as I feel necessary. OK, but it's not tarot. I will send the responses as soon as possible. My email is listed in the description box below. You guys can start sending your questions with your payments right now. Okay, so if you guys are interested, um, check that out. If you guys have any extra questions or need more clarity, please feel free to let me know. I've done a lot of um, life coaching topics, you know, in regards to marriage, divorce, how to build a relationship good with God, all of that. So if you guys, most of it's going to be relationship questions. That is totally cool. And um, most of you guys will send that. So thank you for that. But also, you know, about family relations and just, I'll put a bunch of topics, I think, in the description, but you guys don't have to follow those topics. You guys can um, also come up with your own or whatever. I'm open. So yeah. So if you guys are interested, you guys can start that now. Let's jump into your reading. I just have to, you know, guys, give you guys a heads up. This is a very sensitive topic. I am giving you guys a reading cancer in regards to the karma. This is the bad karma that people are, rece are receiving because they harmed you, hurt you, betrayed you. Specifically, this is the bad karma that your twin flame soulmate or soul tie is receiving because they betrayed you and harmed you. So if the topic is too sensitive in this reading and message, please click off now. Do what's best for your mental health. You guys, um, it's always best to use your discernment and utilize good judgment. Let's begin. For those of you who have decided to stay with me and press on, let's do it. Please bear come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of cancer for the mid-month of November, year 2022. I've just cut the cards. This is my karma deck, self-made deck. I'm going to pull the first 10 cards. The 11th card will represent what's on the bottom of the deck. So please give me a few minutes to put them down on the table.
There's no, <clears throat> excuse me, there's no specific order. I'm going to read them as guided by spirit to do so. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have no respect. So your twin flame soulmate or soul tie is not getting any more respect. Definitely not yours and not from other people. So they've lost your respect. You don't trust them. Um, you don't like how they move. And people are not like dealing with them the same or if at all. People are cutting ties. It's not just you. You guys have walked away. You guys are focused on your own healing, your own growth. And that is what's best, your own self-love and self-care. This person, I don't feel like they respect themselves. Like they might not have a lot of morals and, you know, they don't hold themselves to a moral ethic code. Like they don't have values. They don't value, you know, good friendships, great relationships, people who are good to them. They didn't value you. So you lost respect for them, how they move was just, I'm hearing deplorable or disrespectful. So, you know, they should be ashamed of themselves, but, um, they didn't give you the respect that you deserve either. So you really lost it for them. You started to really look back and see them for who they are. And it wasn't pretty, you know, no matter what they look like on the outside, it's what on the inside that uh, counts the most. So just know this, they are having car problems. Somebody may even leave them stranded or they may end up stranded. So they may end up somewhere where they don't have a lot of help and support people who used to come. You used to be always the one to the rescue, but, um, not anymore. They lost big when they lost you. So they're going to face some car troubles. They definitely need to get a good mechanic. They need to go take care of their car. It's like they don't value their assets. They don't, they, they really don't. They don't value people. This person, they might have uh, self-esteem issues because I'm hearing lack of self-esteem. So they don't take care of things. They don't take care of themselves. They don't take care of you or their blessings. And this is why they're losing them. This is why things are breaking down on them. <clears throat> excuse me, your person uh, will be summoned to court to pay child support or they may owe that to you. They could be behind. Make sure you guys hold them accountable. Get what you deserve. Get what you deserve. Okay, but um, yeah, some of them will have to pay child support or they do owe it. Yeah, it's interesting because here's money, bank, and financial issues right here. So this person is losing. Oftentimes when people are evil, and they're just downright wrong. And they were wrong for hurting you. You guys did not deserve this. And spirit often hits people in the pocket. Like spirit will come for their money because I believe they put money over you, but they spent, I'm hearing they spent recklessly though. So this person has a lot of financial issues. Like maybe they owe loans. They could be a negative in their bank accounts. For some of them, they're not good with money. You know, they, they get what they want over what they need. They don't have a good balance. So that's always going to be a failure and they don't invest well, or they may start something and not finish it, but they still are stuck with the bill. So bills are greatly piling up and through, you know, with inflation, we, we are all learning to balance our budget and, you know, be resourceful and spend wisely. This person did not learn this. Like they didn't save for a ready day and now they owe it. Every time they turn on, they're getting hit. Spirit is piling it on. When it comes to money, they're taking the one thing that they loved over you was money. Tickets is here. So they owe like parking tickets. They might even get a speeding ticket, but they owe. So if not, then this is something connected to the court or they may have let tickets pile up that they didn't pay. So some of them may have a warrant for their arrest for not paying um, tickets or something like that. So they owe a lot of people. They might even owe you money. That's what I'm hearing. They owe. And you were such a giver. You guys were very loving and receptive of this person very patient of getting this person knows they are the fool they played the fool you see them as a fool everybody sees them as an idiot like a, i'm hearing stupid fool i really don't like to use the word stupid but they made a lot of stupid decisions and they do feel foolish they feel like the fool because with you they were actually winning they had love and encouragement you guys were thriving you brought a lot of energy to the table and you just wanted what was best for them you wanted them to have good health and wellness and for things to thrive successfully they were not willing to excuse me, to give what you give. They did not give their all. Wow. And I, I talked about their self-esteem. Here's your reflection of their insecurities. Not surprised to see this here. So yeah, when they see you, they see somebody who, you know, you take care of your, your mental, your physical, your oral hygiene, your physical body. Some of you guys really love to exercise a lot, cancer, or you like to run or do hikes and be physical. You're all about body fitness or at least eating better, living better, making better choices, you know, in regards to your eating more green foods and healthy foods. Like you have a good balance, a good blend 
you know, of course, you know, we all have our indulgences when it comes to the treats and the sweets and the foods we love, but, um, you know how to balance and still exercise, you know, weekly or on the weekends, you guys give your body some attention. You guys listen to relaxing music and things that uplift you or something that you really enjoy. You guys have a good balance. You're wholesome. So you, your reflection of their insecurities, they're insecure because everything that you are, they were supposed to learn and add those traits on to their lives and they chose not to. So they are, I'm hearing suffering. They're suffering with um, their self-esteem. And one of the biggest reasons they know they're suffering and they know they lost you is because they sabotaged this. So they willingly and knowingly made choices against you. They went after their money. They went after it for the wrong reasons. They may have looked down on you when you were in a place where you guys were struggling financially or, you know, you weren't having a harvest at that time. So they looked down on you and they could have helped you. They should have assisted you more. They could have added so much more to the table instead they gambled some of them could be gamblers you know maybe you know they felt like they were on a lucky streak and that they would never you know come crashing down but now they're they're down and um they're dealing with what they've done you had to walk away and detach and move on from this person because they were only causing more like problems and conflict it's like It was hard dealing with this person. It was really hard. You know, sometimes they made you feel like you weren't good enough. But you had to learn to love yourself and realize that you serve a very wonderful purpose and that you're here to to live and not just exist, but you're important. Okay, so this was a loss. Losing you was definitely a loss. They do feel like a fool for this, but you had to learn to detach because this person was detached emotionally. You know, this person was emotionally unavailable. They weren't willing to meet you where you were. They just lacked focus. They Their focus was on other things, other people, you know, superficial things. They weren't willing to transform and walk their purpose and path. So you guys had to walk away and do what's best for you. And that was the right thing to do because you don't respect this person. You don't like how they deal with others. You don't like how they talk to you, how they move, how they mistreat you. And they weren't changing. They were supposed to change. And you guys are very intuitive. Well, I want you to know something. They are very enlightened and intuitive too. Some of you guys are like earth angels, light workers and such. And even prophets, you guys spread the word of love. You guys spread love. You guys spread the word of God. And you're here to support others. Some of you guys are like life coaches or healers or helpers in some sense. But they ignored the signs. They got the signs. So, and some of them, you may have had to really pry or really like, you guys have to really like pull it out of them. You know, are you seeing the same signs? Are you seeing the same synchronicities or omens or downloads or dreams? Like, what are you seeing? They were getting signs too, but they were ignoring them. They didn't want to admit that you guys were seeing the same numbers, same synchronicities. They didn't want to admit this truth. You know, when you would say, oh yeah, I saw that too. They didn't believe you. And it's because they didn't want to believe you. This meant that they would have to do the research, conduct that research and find out what is a twin flame? What's a soulmate? What's the job of a soul tie? What are we here to do as a we, as a union? So, you know, someone just wasn't willing to do the work. So they ignored the signs. They saw them. They saw them. Spirit made sure they got them. They got them too. Now that you're gone, I feel like they're still getting them. I feel like it's coming in dream form. I feel like it's hitting them more. I feel like spirit is really piling on the signs that they ignore. It's coming back. And they realize you were their soulmate, soul tie, or twin flame, and they threw it away. So a lot of them are in isolation right now, and they're very angry. They're angry with you for you leveling up and choosing God and love and self-love. They're angry with everybody except for themselves. And some of them are really rebellious. They do it for reactions because people are not giving them the attention. You know, they're not satisfied with you pulling back your energy. So they don't have the attention they used to get. So they're a little bit uh, rebellious. They could be cruel or mean with their words or their actions. You know, people see them as very erratic or just acting crazy, just acting out of character. While you guys are going towards your peace, love and respect, financial security. You guys are resilient. So you're doing things that bring, bring you a lot of pleasure and harmony in your lives while they're going the opposite direction. This could truly be a run or two is the energy I'm getting. So they're like a rebel. They don't like to follow rules. They don't like to... Um, 
conform to what's right. You know, there's nothing wrong with conforming when it's for the right, when it's for their best and highest interest so that they can be and live in their best and highest self. It's really a shame. It's pretty sad, but um, you guys have grown to be more spiritual and religious. You guys enjoy life. You're grateful for your life and you're grateful to God for every lesson, but you guys see this person as a lesson and you're taking going forward and educating others about it so that you got, you guys can help others. Because like I said, you guys are light workers. This person was supposed to join you in being a light worker, a star seed, an earth angel, a healer of some sort, a prophet, even a priest, high priestess, high priest, something like that. They were supposed to spread the word of God, but they're very, you know, they're much, they're more like a hypocrite. They, they ruin this relationship. I feel like they will always want you, especially now that their dreams are just solely about you. Like they're seeing you. Spirit is making them see you and see what they've done and how they ruined this connection. So this is a part of their karma. So they don't rest too easy, you know. They're being forced to see you, even though they don't want to. And it's making them angry. But um, the only person they should be angry with is themselves. God sent you as a blessing and they turned it down. They turned you away. And you guys have to move forward with your life. So continue to go forward. Continue to go on. Do what you guys feel is best, especially if this person comes back and they may. You guys have a lot of goals and hobbies that you guys are focused on. You guys have a different focus. You guys just wasn't on the same level. And um, it's sad because they had complete potential to get there. They just chose not to. We all have choices, you guys. Continue to choose God. Continue to choose you. And know that blessings will choose you as well. Okay, Cancer, this has been your reading for the mid-month of November, your 2022. I hope the messages in this reading resonate with all of you or as many of you as humanly possible. I hope that you guys get clarity, healing from this message and also a heads up, you know, just some preparation of what you're dealing with. A lot of you guys already know at this point, this is just confirmation. So that helps with healing as well for some of you. And um, I'm just sending you guys all love, harmony, peace, blessings, and of course, abundance. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. Bye, Cancer.